listen, at least let's teach these Europeans a lesson or something like that. No, that's not that's not how they're looking at it. So they're very wrong. It's not right to go around uh, beating up on people or doing things to people like that because of a virus and the president himself calling it the Chinese virus. It's not the Chinese virus. The virus came from China, that's true. <laughs> And but at the time it did, there wasn't any name for it. We had no idea. That's why they called a novel virus from the Latin word novel, meaning new. You see, so that's what they were calling it, the novel coronavirus. But then now, since then, they have a name for it. But yeah, he was still calling it the Chinese uh, virus, and that's ridiculous. And because of that, he was like agitating some people to go out there and attack. Uh, Chinese people, and that was happening. But the Chinese should learn from their, their history, especially in, in America, that they were beaten up too. And then some of them were treated very unfairly, and some of them were even lynched and killed in the process. Yeah, a lot, um, a lot of people, um, Asian people, are saying the same thing too. They say we, um, we have to if uh, black people racist to Asian, they say, you know, they should worry more about white people. Treat me like that. We, Asian people, feel, we feel you guys, you know. We feel how black people be treated in America. So. Well, a lot of places where uh, some of the Asian people, when they come to, to America, for example, where they start their businesses, a lot of them start in like black neighborhoods, like with the Chinese food and all that stuff. That's yeah. where they go, you know, that's where they usually make their money, you see. And now uh, years ago, you go by like 20 something years ago, they are like in New York, here, they had like a lot, lots of disputes with the way like the Asian and the Koreans were carrying on some of the neighborhoods. Which they, um, Way they do business around black people and how they they treat black people, the black customers, you know. Because here in America, you're taught like if you're in a business, like you you taught certain skills in dealing with uh, consumers, you know. Like we we uh, thank you very much or uh, come again. But the Chinese, they have nothing like that. I guess it's part of their culture. They're not trained like that. But in America, it's different here. <laughs> you know? there's, 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 um, there's one of these uh, shops down the street from me that's run by like some guys from the like the Middle East. And they have like they have like a big sign out there in the front and it's like a whole glass thing you could look at, you know, when you which is good. You could look in there which is good. So nobody's going to come in there and rub them. It's whole, all glass. There's no wall. So when you look in, you can see all the stuff inside um, the little mini market. But the point is, they have a big sign there that says, uh, we appreciate your business. Um, thanks. Um, and we hope to see you again soon. You know, come again. Okay, these are guys from the Middle East. So obviously, they understand what's, what's going on because in the past, they were also rude, a lot of people from the Middle East. But they realize that the neighborhood they're in, so you have to adjust. But the Chinese are not like that. They don't have any signs saying, you know, we appreciate your business. Please come again soon. No, it's like you put the money, they just slam the money down for you. And... That's some of the problems that like, some of the black people have with them. Like the Chinese come across as rude. You know, they just grab your money, they just slam your change down. There's no tanking or anything like that. So that's one those are the kind of things that have been um, boiling up. And now you see, you know, people just using an excuse with a virus to go out there and attack uh, Chinese people and sometimes Asian people. They use another that excuse. So these were like things that were like uh, bubbling up for a while, percolating, and now they come to the service where it's like 
people think, oh, you know, you've been in, you've been in my neighborhood, you have business, you have a restaurant, you have takeout food, this and that. You're very rude, <laughs> you know. And we see examples of that, you know, one woman, uh, the beat up one woman, a black woman in Brooklyn, apparently for five, over five dollars she was supposed to pay and she didn't pay or some some something like that. Sometimes you you just have to like you you have to suffer your loss, see like common sense if you're doing business and uh somebody, somebody didn't pay you five dollars and this is like where i think they i think they do their nails or something like that okay so what you do you have a choice you can call the police that's one thing you can do you can call the police chances are the police is going to look at you on one alive and say you know you're gonna you're gonna call me because this woman didn't pay you five dollars come on you know I mean, really, now you call the police over serious stuff. Or your other choice is you take a picture of the woman, you know? You take a picture of the woman, you say, well, look. And they have videos too, they have videos in there. You take a picture of the woman, you put there, and you say, we're not going to serve you anymore if you come into this shop. We're not going to do business with you. And you suffer the loss. That's it. Instead, they they all beat they all beat the woman and so forth and that caused the whole thing and then you have this confrontation and then you have people outside the store you know outside the um the nail salon and they're saying this business can't and eventually i think they went out of business so that's that's even worse you know <laughs> why go to that extreme over five dollars see at least my philosophy is like that you know that if the money is small and I'd be willing to, to lose the money, then to lose everything totally. So they lost the whole business just over five dollars. That's not worth it. And that's how that's how that is how some of the the, the Chinese think, you know. They they go for small petty stuff. They rather lose the whole thing, the whole big picture over something little. And that's how they are. That's how they come across. It's greedy. You see, you rather lose you you rather lose your whole business over five dollars instead of saying, uh, you know what? Now, see, like there's a store down near um, a, a a supermarket. Not where I not where I live here, but like a uh, a good walking distance from me. And they have like pictures of people, right? They had a number of pictures of people, you see, and, and that's in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. So it's like a lot of black people going there and shop. And you have like a lot of pictures. And all those pe all those pictures they put there are people who shoplifted, right? So the point is this. There is your picture, your shoplifter, you're not welcome in this store anymore, right? They, they didn't call the police. What they did is that they took their picture. They caught them in the act. They called them ste stealing, shoplifting, and they put their picture up and they put a notice that these people have been shoplifting. All right. They didn't do it like the Chinese people. And these and the people who run that business are like Hispanic people. So they took a different tag. They they didn't come up with a broom and beat. <laughs> You know, like the Chinese people did in the salon place, and beat up, beat up the the people, beat up the black people who were caught shoplifting. No, nah, they just took a picture of them, and you see a whole bunch of you see a whole bunch of pictures of people. You know, when you walk in the store, there's like a whole. It was like something you see, like if you go to a police station and you're picking out like uh, criminals, then the police give you. Um, like a whole bunch of pictures to look through to see who's who's the person, the perpetrator, and that and that's that's what they do. They, they do. They put this whole bunch of pictures. Every one of those persons were shoplifting. So they didn't they didn't go to the police. They didn't call the police. They're not going to waste their time 
you know, have to send the employee.